So, base dyan sa iyong uh, hawak na CCTV, pareha siguro, to, pareha siguro tayo ng source. Uh, na malayong malayo dun sa narration ni Lieutenant Susongko, yung totoong actual uh, events that took place on October 8th. So, kaya hindi mapigilan at maiwasan na magduda ang taong bayan. Eh. Dahil klarong-klaro yung inconsistencies. Eh. Uh, in fact, napakahirap itang gisiguro nito. Especially kung ma-authenticate na ito. Hindi naman siguro magbabago itsura nito kapag na-authenticate ito. And this will be probably uh, has a good weight in court. Sa tingin ko. So, doon ba sa ano, uh, General uh, Cruz, uh, yung uh, mga nag-pilfer, yung mga nag-puslit, nagtago ng uh, uh, 42 kilos of shabu na may kaso na ito sila? Uh, na, ang kaso po ay nandun na po sa CIDG. Uh, I believe this day they are they are filing the criminal case. Okay, may we get the the answer from uh, General Karamat? Uh, General, mayroon na bang kaso itong uh, nanganagpilfer? Good morning. Good morning, Your Honor, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, that's affirmative. The CIDG is now preparing the criminal and administrative case of those identified personnel that was seen on the CCTV. For the criminal case, sir. Uh, Um, they were charged with uh, Section 27 of uh, Republic Act 9165 uh, for misappropriation and failure to account. And for the administrative case, uh, sir, uh, yun po yung command responsibility, sir. Uh, we base our uh, complaint uh, based on the uh, footage uh, the CCTV and the documents signed by the PDIG personnel. Uh, na mali-mali tinistin nila yung pax uh, so that's uh, that is the initial uh, uh, criminal case na isasampan namin against those identified personnel that was seen on the CCTV footage uh, for your information your honor sir okay. thank you thank you uh, uh, general in the admin case uh, attorney bernardo the vice chair of uh, napolcom Uh, can you confirm that there's already admin case against the personalities involved? Thank you, Your Honor. The uh, fact-finding uh, inquiry created by uh, Secretary Abalos is uh, supposed to uh, complete its uh, uh, report uh, by next week. But we would like to uh, uh, state for us as a preliminary that it would appear from the uh, CCTV at 1.21, Sergeant Mayo and uh, Captain Sosonko was on board of the uh, silver SUV Montero. At 1.38, they alighted together. Sosonko and uh, Mayo can be seen from the CCTV at 1.38. Sergeant Mayo was uh, accosted or under handcuff, meaning therefore, from what it appears to be, from 1.38 to 7.45 p.m. of that same day of October 8, Mayo was already been restrained. And uh, it, it would appear whether that has been a legal arrest or not, but the, but the physical document would show that he was restrained from 1.38 to 7.45 in the evening of that very same day. And, uh, and he was uh, released at, at 7.45. He was uncapped based on uh, the CCTV. And if we can connect the story so far being told, he was uh, being uh, tasked to make an arrest of a certain uh, Juden Francisco at Pasi. Records will bear that, uh, so, so, uh, that uh, Mayo was an arresting officer. And thereafter, uh, he was uh, being arrested uh, sometime based on record, based on court records at 2.30 uh, in October 9, the following day. Our concern is that time is of the essence. The uh, 
the uh, the case filed at uh, RTC one seventy seven, there was an arraignment on on November eight. If the complaint would have been corrected, that should have been done sometime before the arraignment. If there would be an arraignment, uh, there would be difficulties that the, the apprehension of some of the lawyers that it may bungle the case. This may be a reasonable uh, 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 concern. Uh, sometime in December 2, the lawyer of Mayo uh, motioned the court, and the court granted sometime in December 2, to subpoena the CCTV for the purpose of uh, proving the fact whether there was, in fact, pursuit operation. If the, if the version of the proponent is that there were a pursuit operation in the evening in the uh, at around 11 p.m. Uh, sometime in October 8 until 2.30 in October 9. The lawyer of Mayo had sought, and it was approved by the court, that the CCTV of all those areas that they would have passed through in order to prove or disprove the fact that he was arrested in a pursuit operation. And, and on March 10, he also sub, uh, moved to, and the court approved on March 10, that uh, a subpoena be issued whether he was in fact arrested in a certain uh, Jolina uh, general merchandise located at Ipil Capo, whether he was arrested uh, sometime at around 12.30 uh, to 1 on October 8. With all of these things uh, that are happening, there is an urgency that this must be looked into. Uh, if the case should have been rectified ahead of time, then somebody should have taken uh, the initiative to rectify and to save the case. Kaya, doon lang po dumating yung, yung, uh, yung Napolkong fact-finding. With all of these things, uh, who should have taken the cudgel to correct and rectify these things? Kasi po, kung restrain na siya noong 1.38 pa lang, based on object evidence, makikita po ng lahat, hanggang 7.45, Bakit lumabas pa na nahuli muli siya nung 2.30 the following day? And that is really something that uh, we're asking them to, to rectify. Uh, in the meantime po, yun lang muna yung extent na ano. And we will submit also report to the committee as soon as we have completed the investigation. Uh, thank you, Attorney. Uh, the committee would, be, would appreciate uh, submission of your report so that we can use that also in our crafting of the committee report. So, oh, di ba? Ayos tayo. Nasungko, di ba? General Domingo, Colonel Olonan, General Cruz, General Karamat, Attorney Bernardo, Vice Chair ng Napolcom. Malayong malayo yung kwento mo eh. May chance ka pa. Kung gusto mong mag- uh, <laughs> Magbago ng uh, statement. Sabihin mo lang sa committee. Sige, pag-isipan mo. Mabalikan ka namin mamaya. Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, Congressman Ako. Ah, pwede po bang matanong yung polis? Ah, uh, uh, hindi ko po ma maintindihan yung kwan eh. Yung uh, Praise na, but before that, nahuli na ba si Police Colonel Ibanez noon pa for certain offenses? Is that true? Sa IDG, hindi nyo alam? SITG, the IGM head, hindi nyo rin alam? Okay, sir, uh, the uh, SITG has no record about any arrest involving uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ibanez. But uh, in one of our uh, sources on social media, we we read in the news that he has an existing case, criminal case about uh, illegal drugs. But uh, Sir, I cannot, There's a report in 2006. They were assigned in Region 3, right? Yes, sir. Uh, as PDEU and CIDG officers, respectively. Tama? 
Bakit hindi nyo alam? May report na uh, Police Lieutenant Colonel Arnolfo Ibanez and Police Major Bienvenido Redado who were formerly assigned in Pampanga as PDEU and CIDG officers respectively were arrested by PDEA in 2006. May ask PDEA kung hindi masagot ng PNP, totoo ba ito? Uh, Mr. Chairman, can we just be given time to uh, look at all records because uh, this is 2006? Yes, may I ask PNP and PDEA to verify the records? Kasi importante ito eh, kung naaresto na sila eh. Eh bakit nandiyan pa sila? And may I ask the uh, uh, General Cruz or General Karamat? Ano ang ibig sabihin yung NWID, Retained PNP Personnel? Please explain to the members of this committee. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Uh, in WID means National Watch List on Illegal Drugs, sir. Yes. So, are you trying to tell me that Police Lieutenant Colonel Ibanez was already doing sa listahan ng NWID? That's true, sir. Uh, before, uh, Lieutenant Colonel was included in the National Watch List of Illegal Drugs. But uh, uh, he was cleared by the members of the na, uh, National Watch List of Illegal Drugs sir, before because we have no concrete evidence because I was part then of the body uh, for the adjudication of those members who were included in that watch list with so we adjudicated uh, we the board the body adjudicated the uh, police lieutenant colonel ibanez in the absence of concrete evidence because the national watch list on illegal drugs itself is not an evidence na talagang involved sila sir sa illegal drugs. So the body before created by the former chief PNP din sir. Uh, kung hindi nyo nireproject si Ibanez, nangyari kaya ito? Or from the case, if that is true, that he had a case or he was arrested by PDEA, na dismiss na siya sa servisyo, nangyari kaya itong fiasco na ito? I believe not sir. Yes. No. Oh, kasi, uh, nireproject ninyo eh. Diba? That was the purpose why yung NWID uh, for retained uh, PNP personnel eh, in-approve na ma-reproject si Police uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ibanez and Police Master Sergeant Rodolfo Mayo. Magkasama na sila noon pa. 2020, no ginawa nyo ito. Oh, ngayon, sino ang may kasalanan? Alam nyo na pala na involved sa drugs eh. Binalik nyo pa sa PIDEG. You were once a commander of PIDEG, right? Yes, sir. Oh. June 3, 2020, na-reassign si General Ibanez, Master Sergeant Mayo, and Police Senior Master Sergeant Jimenez to PIDEG. Ayun rin may kagagawan. Yes, diba? sir. Uh, I admit uh, it's a failure of intelligence on the members of the committee. Yes, sir. Let's assume, let's assume uh, General Bong, na totoo yun na naaresto siya noong July 6, 2020 ng PIDEG. What did the PNP do about it? That's the reason. 
wala kayong ginagawa ng kakamali ang mga tao ninyo eh. Kaya tumitigas ang ulo. Yung bata nga, pag pinababayaan mo na mali yung ginagawa, eh, tumitigas ang ulo habang lumalaki eh. That, uh, uh, Vice Chair Bernardo, ayan ang nangyayari sa PNP. Noon, nandyan ako, pailan ng kaso, nadidismiss, nag-re-request, uh, nag nag-a-appeal, nababalik sa serbisyo. Ang nangyayari, kumukupa siya ng back pay, which I objected before when I was there. Kasi no work, no pay dapat. Ganon ang nangyari talaga. Doon sa region, pag wala na yung regional commander na reassign, nag a na sila. At nababalik sa serbisyo. I think these things are supposed to be corrected. Pag mali, eh mali. Otherwise, we'll not be able to instill discipline among our men. Yun ang kuwan dyan. Yung, yung certainty of punishment ay eh, yun dapat na magpigil sa kanila sa paggawa ng mali. Kasi if it is true, binibirpay nyo ba yung records ninyo kung nahuli na si, si Police Colonel, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ibanez in 2006 by PDEA? What happened to the case? Tapos, kung nahuli siya ng PDEA, sigurado drugs yun dahil yun ang jurisdiction ng drugs. And yet, the authorities of the PNP reprojected him sa drugs pa rin. Do you not see something wrong there? Huh? I do not know. Anong ginagawa nyo dyan sa loob ngayon? Yeah, no. Uh... That may be one of the uh, strong suggestions we made uh, in in our last meeting to conduct uh, a review of uh, the entire PIDEG and concept. Who are those people that has been selected to man the PIDEG? And in terms of their uh, performance, uh, we have been strongly suggesting that. Uh, in fact, uh, we conveyed that uh, message to Colonel uh, to General Peralta, who represents the GPNP. When we are trying to find out uh, what happened as to why people that has been identified has been uh, removed from PIDEG uh, for, for that specific purpose was were reprojected was and were brought back again and given the same assignments and uh, and for that reason what was the intelligence report that made them be found in the uh, uh, watch list of uh, illegal drugs and what was the evidence that had removed them? And those uh, informations were not being available anymore at this time. And we have been asking them to submit whether to reorganize the entire concept itself because uh, it has been uh, apparently unable to perform the way we are expecting them to do. Uh, we will be coming up uh, a strong uh, action on, on, on those things, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, If you look at it, it's the, uh, the board, according to General Karamat, who approved yung reprojection ni Juan, ni uh, Colonel Ibanez. Uh, actually, in March 27, 2020, nangyari yun. Uh, under then, uh, Brigadier General uh, Ferdinand Divina. Diba? Ang subject na, ang Juan na yun is conduct of spotting activities of NWID recommended for retention. And that was approved in May 21, 2020. Di ba? Official lahat eh. Documented. Pag-reproject. Pag, pag Di ba? Uh, General Karaman? That's, that's correct, sir. But uh, gusto ko lang itama po, sir, na hindi po ako yung nag -upload. Hindi ko naman sinasabi. Yes, sir. It was I did not mention your name as part yes, of the board. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ang sinabi ko lang na pangalan ay si General Divina. I do not know what was his position then. Because in May 21, 2020, the memorandum from Director Pideg with request for reassignment. Who was the Pideg Director in May 21, 2020? Na siya ang nag-request na mapunta sa kanya itong mga taong ito. 
Sir, uh, pwede ko bang masami, sir, yung nangyari, sir? Ha? Balikan natin, sir, yung pangyayari, sir, no, baano na-adjudicate, sir, si... No, it's... Yes. Na-adjudicate nyo, it's a board. It's official. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. yes sir. Uh, ang nakalagay dito sa report, uh, May 21, 2020, may nangyari, it pertains to the NWID retained PNP personnel, namely Police Lieutenant Colonel Arnulfo Ibanez, and Police Master Sergeant Rodolfo Mayo Jr., who were spotted for reprojection, deliberated and approved by DDI and Chairman SPRB on May 12, 2020. Do you confirm that? Yes, sir. Oh, yun pala eh. So, nasa inyo yung pagkakamali. Diba? Kagaya nga nang sabi ko, nung... Tinutol na natin nung nag-uumpisa pa, walang pangyayaring ganito. Baka maganda yung accomplishment talaga. Hindi ba? O tahimik kayo.